We're in Windows Server 10, and I'm going to show you how to create a distribution group in Active Directory. Now, distribution groups are only going to work if you have a program installed that uses distribution groups. So you can create security groups, and that's affected by any folder you share or with the security permissions as well as the share permissions. But a distribution group only works with programs such as Microsoft Exchange and other programs that may utilize that particular feature. So it's great for sending out email lists uh, uh, when you want to send to multiple people in with one email and not have to type everyone's individual name in. So let's go ahead and open up Active Directory Users and Computers from Server Manager under the Tools menu. And once it's all opened up, we're just going to go ahead and right-click anywhere on the inside the folder that you want to create the group. We're going to do it under Users and choose New and choose Group. All right, so the group name is we're going to call it test2 because we created test1 for our other group and instead of choosing our uh, security group type we're going to change it to distribution now you have a couple of or a few different options on the, the scope the domain local is the domain that you're currently logged in as global would be all the domains that you have inside your single forest Universal would be all of your forests and all of your domains. So where do you want to create that group? How high up do you want to go? Well, we're just going to go ahead and choose the default global. We just have one domain anyway, so we could choose domain or uh, domain local. It wouldn't matter. But if I had many domains inside this forest, then obviously it would. So we'll go ahead and click OK. So now you can see under the group type that this is a distribution group, which is different than a security group. So let's go ahead and double click on our test to distribution group. And from here, if you want, you can change it to a security group at any time. Um, you can also change it to a universal group as well. Uh, however, the domain local is grayed out because it just is unneeded. Uh, with members, what you can do is you can click add and then put in a member, type in the username, and from here, I can create, I can click in the test user or the, the test group, but I'm just going to do an individual user because that makes more sense in a distribution group. And I'll go ahead and click apply. Now, if I go over to my test user, I can see the test user is a member of uh, the test group as well as test two. So go ahead and double click on your user, go to the member of tab. And we can see I'm a member of both of these groups. Now if I want to, I can go ahead and remove myself from either of those groups. And then click Apply. So you can add or remove in either direction. So that's how you create a distribution group in Windows Server 10.